Hello everybody and welcome back to Sparkle Dot. You know, it's been a fun it's been a fun week for me, but I'd like to talk about something important and uh, I think you all know what I'm gonna say. It's coming up. We all have to live with it and we all have to deal with it. Tax day, am I right? Am I right? Okay. So anyways, tax day is coming up and you uh might want to get your W-2s from your work, assuming you're employed and not like a student, or maybe just some invalid who can't work because he does because he's disabled or maybe just some child like some 25 year old child who doesn't work because he doesn't want to because he got some sort of stipend from the government and his parents are paying for his disability or whatever the case might be and uh, no he gets to live at home and play video games and watch anime all the time he gets to watch things like squid girl and watamote and the uh, and all of those animes that nobody else likes, except for uh, shut in, like for white shut in, like weeaboos. Not you know, not to sound racist or nothing, but weeaboos. Yes, weeaboos. I'm using that word out in the open. Just gonna throw it out there. Weeaboos who don't like to work because they feel, for whatever reason, they shouldn't have to. They say, "I didn't ask it to be born, so why should I have to work?" And it's like. You make a very you make a very fair point. I can't argue with that. I think that's a very it's a very appropriate point. Very fair. Very well eloquently thought out, and you know it's just just you know just respect people who don't want to do certain things. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't. Okay, this is my opinion. This might sound a little bit radical, but. In this world, you shouldn't have to do anything that you don't want to do, and I think that that, I think that that is fair. But I also understand that it's unreasonable. I think there are a lot of things that you do have to do that you shouldn't have to just because you don't want to do them. You know, like, but at the same time, if you want to like live in a house or an apartment or something, you have to pay rent, and then it's it's this whole huge thing. It's like okay, well. I didn't ask to do either of these things and now I'm being forced to, so uh, what do I do next? You know, you get a job, you get a mortgage, you get a dog, you get a house, you get a you get a donkey, and then put him in your backyard and name him Bart, like from The Simpsons, and it's like funny, it's like a joke now. But it's like, okay Bart, you're a donkey, and it's like funny to us that we have a donkey and then all of our neighbors are like oh that's so funny you're the, fe you're the family with the donkey and then you realize that it actually costs a lot of money to feed and raise a donkey and then you want to give them away but you can't because nobody will buy a donkey from you since you live in the middle of a like a suburb there's no farms around and no farms around you need donkeys anyway so it's like who do I even talk to about getting rid of the donkey and then you put him up on Craigslist and some shady customers like well, can I have your donkey? And you're like, I don't know, pal, your uh, references don't really check out here and I don't want to give them to you because I think you might be mean to him and I don't want you being mean to our donkey, but because it's like, we we raised him since he was a, what is a baby donkey called? A foal? Kind of like a horse or a calf or a cub or a, or a gaggle or something? I don't know. I don't know what a baby donkey's called. Don't grill me on this, but I don't know what a baby donkey's called and I feel bad about that like I should. But it, it turns out I don't, so anyways, I feel like that's kind of neither here nor there. I feel like that's kind of unimportant what I've been talking about in the first place. So anyways, you want to get a house with your lady or whatever, and then she's like, well, I want to get a donkey. We're back on the donkey again. Oh, thank God. Thank, thank the gods. The various gods that I pray to every single day, because not one god could possibly encompass all of the beauty in the world. That is my opinion on the matter. Anyways, no, I'm not Hindu. Don't ask. Okay, so what am I going for here? Okay, red coins. I got it. I understand. Don't point it out to me. I'm not, I'm not a child. You don't have to hold my hand every time. Okay, so anyways, um, what was I talking about? Tax day? How did I get here? The donkeys. I don't understand. <clears throat> Anyways, tax day is coming up, you're gonna get your money back, don't worry, unless you don't have any, like, dependents or something. You know what a lot of people like to do is, a lot of, uh, single mothers, I guess, is they like to get knocked up so that they can get, like, tax breaks or whatever, they can get, uh, people paying for their children and all that stuff, or they just like to get children so they can spend, like, a couple of dollars on their children and then spend the rest of it on themselves buying things like Prada and... <laughs> pictures of Dorian Gray or whatever it is that women like to buy, I'm not exactly sure because uh, 
I like to maintain a very independent masculine lifestyle because that's just how I am and I, you know, I don't like to be judged for my, uh, my decisions, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes I make questionable decisions. I'm not going to be the first one to deny that. Like, you all, you all, you all know that I like to take, like, two month long breaks from doing my fucking show, right? That's not because of you, let me get that straight right now, mister. That's because of me and my own insecurities. I like I like to not have to project them onto other people. But sometimes it happens, you know, it happens, and I don't like, you know, I don't like to uh, accuse anyone in particular of causing me trouble, but, you know, if, 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 if I don't want to do something, I don't, like I said, I don't, have to, I don't have to fucking do it. That's just the way it's going to be. Oh, by the way, I wanted to talk about the new, the, the new Sparkle Dot schedule because I hadn't really dis discussed that yet. Um, so what I'm going to try and do, I guess, is I'm going to try to do maybe one video a day, Monday through Friday, instead of every single day. Because, you know, when you do something like this every single day, it gets very taxing. Get it? I'm making the I'm making the connection there because I was talking about taxes earlier, and though I'm talking about this, and it's like, oh, I see the connection. I'm a very smart guy, and you are also a very smart guy for making that connection on the fly and not having that prepared beforehand. Even though I did, because I'm very, I'm very well prepared. I'm a, you know, like I said, I let me talk to the boy. I just want to talk to the boy. I just want to talk to the boys. That's all I want to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Just talking to the boys. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing hopefully one video a day, Monday through Friday. Uh, I know a lot of you don't care, but I have gotten some comments about why I don't do it anymore. And there's really no reason other than that I didn't want to, because I was doing too much of it. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'll just, I'll do it when I want to. Oh, at the very least I'll have something up every week. I don't know if I can make that a promise even, because I'm very lazy. As you know, I'm, very, I'm a very lazy man. And I have a lot to do. Not so much anymore. I got a new job. So I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it involves flying airplanes. And it involves flying airplanes full of passengers to other airports. So I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I think with those two clues that I just gave you, you can infer quite a bit about what it might be. And, uh, you know, just make an educated guess. I know you're all very smart. You can figure it out. You're probably smarter than your old boy Sparkle Dot because you uh, don't spend all of your time playing video games, I'm sure. You watch them on the computer while you do other things like browse uh, the, 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 the anonymous image boards or whatever it is you like to browse forums and stuff. Maybe you're a uh, moderator on a very obscure like World of Warcraft forum or something and you spend all your time doing that but you don't like to do it in silence, so you'll put on a video of some guy playing video games that you liked as a kid, or maybe you still like to play every now and then, like what I like to do. Please don't tell me, please. Okay, thank, thank, the, thank the various gods. Gotta give credit where credit is due. That was not my own doing, that was the various lords doing. Um, and anyways, yeah, you, you, you like to do that while you're moderating forums, or maybe you're just... Uh, doing homework, or writing a book, or you just, you're lazy, well maybe you're bedridden, I don't know. You live in a bed, you write a bed, that work, that's what bedridden means I assume. Yes, the answer I guess would be. Okay, so anyways, yeah, we, you know, we, we, we have fun, we have a lot of fun I think. Um, just going back on tax day, anyways, let's talk about presidents, I don't know, Chris Christie. He's not a president and he's not going to be one. But he's a very interesting man, I think. He's, he, you know, he likes to um, talk about going down to Candyland and picking up, uh, picking up flowers and posies and daisies and putting them in vases and giving them to local orphanages and doing all sorts of nice things like that because he's a very smart and thoughtful man. But then he says crazy things too. What is he, like a senator or something? Yeah, I gotta be crazy to be a senator. That's what they always say, right? In senator school, you go to school to be a senator and then you say something crazy. That's what they all do, get it? It's like uh, uh, Sanders and Obama and uh, Gary Busey maybe was a senator. I don't exactly remember if that's true or not, but uh, I'd like to think that it was because I'd like to think that we live in a country where celebrities can become politicians because I know that that's true since they did that in California. 
if I remember correctly, Matthew Broderick was the the, uh, the governor for California. That's exactly how it happened. I'm remembering it correctly and not incorrectly. I'm not a crazy person who likes to say things that aren't true and never were true and will never be true. And... Honestly, I forgot what I was talking about. Hi, I'm SparkleDot. You might remember me from such TV shows as uh, Hawaii Five-0 and Hawaii Five-1 and Hawaii Five-2, get it? The joke is that they're sequels to each other, but that the O in Hawaii Five-0 is like the number and not like just a, like a regular like patrol number like it probably was in the show. You get, you get the joke, it makes sense to you. you. You can figure it out. I'm not gonna hold your hand on this one. I think you got it. I think you can figure this one out. Honestly, I'm just trying well how to get this, uh... Oh, I was only number four. Okay. I'm being pranked. Come on out, Ashton Kutcher. I know you're here. I will have you sign my cast because I broke my arm. And it's not a serious injury, but it does hurt when I move it. And... I would prefer if somebody famous like Ashton Kutcher signed it because I'm getting it off in like three weeks and when I get it off I'd like for me to be able to keep it as like a keepsake or something like that to show people that like not only did I break my arm I also got to meet Ashton Kutcher because he was uh, uh, punking me, he was just a punk bro and uh, yeah you know I don't think there's anything absolutely unreasonable about that I just would like to assume that maybe I can do these sorts of things and not be judged so harshly for them because, you know, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with wanting to meet a celebrity, so to speak. You know, I've met plenty of celebrities. I've met, uh, I've met, um, Jeremy Ackelberg and I've met Isaac Pastraganov and they were both very nice people and they both taught me all about how to do acting and singing and music and whatever it is that they do. You can look it up. They ha they do all these things. They've got a very large repertoire, a very large rap sheet of uh, skills and things that they are good at, things that they've had formal training doing. And just so you know, I'm not lying. You can look them up, even though you probably won't find much because those flash, I am lying. I have been lying the whole time. Isn't that ridiculous? I'm sorry for lying to you. It's just I thought it would be funny and then it turned out not to be so funny. So anyways, you want to talk about something else for just a, like a minute? How about the uh, video cameras? I like video cameras. I think they're very useful, but you kind of have to have like a spare battery when you're using one because if you would take one out for the whole day to do some filming, you might run out of batteries and then you'll be in your car and your friends will be like, no, you can't use the cigarette lighter to charge your video camera because I'm using it to charge my phone because I really want to listen to Spotify and I can't do that if you got your thing on because I've only got like 14% battery and it's going to die after like three songs into Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hot Club's band. So anyways, I've been Sparkle Dot. Thank you for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow probably. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Like I said earlier, new schedule. Goodbye. Mwah.